Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Bree, and I'm so happy that you're here. Today I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do this video for a little while. I thought it'd be really fun to like try some different coffee places in Tuscaloosa. I go to the University of Alabama, I'm a sophomore here, and so I kind of like have heard of a lot of these coffee shops, but I normally stick to like the ones that I know. So I made a list of six coffee shops I wanted to try, and today we're trying the first one. I have been here before, but I'm gonna try something that I've never had before. So like, I think two of the coffee shops I've been to before, but I'm gonna have to, like I'm forcing myself to try something that I haven't tried before, that way it's like fair. And then I'm gonna be rating the coffee shop on the coffee itself and the ambiance. To me, a good coffee shop doesn't only have good coffee, but the vibes are good. So I'm gonna be telling you guys that, and then I'll make my little ranked list of my favorite coffee shops here. I hope you guys like it, I hope you stick around. I make lots of fun content. We are first going to Heritage House. I have been to this coffee shop a couple times, but I'm going to try something new. We're going to go pick up one of my besties, Lily Kate, and we're going to go to Heritage House. So I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so I got the Bama Blitz with oat milk and Lily Kate got a lavender fog, a lavender fog, lavender, what is it? A London fog and eggs benedict. And we'll give you a review. <laughs> hey guys, so we just went to Heritage House and we're gonna give you our little review. So I got the Bama Blitz coffee. It was like vanilla, I think cinnamon and caramel. I would give the coffee itself like a 7 out of 10. The one thing was that it didn't have any ice, like we had to go ask for more ice. Um, so like it just wasn't cold. Um, but it was good, like I, I did like it. What did you think of your lavender? Yeah, I like my drink. I would say like a 7-ish. Like yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then overall like vibe, I feel like this place is like the quintessential like coffee shop. Like it's just so cute, like the vibes in there are really good. Um, I would give the like the environment like an 8 out of 10. The only issue is that like it is really loud and like busy in there So if you're like trying to get a lot of work done or studying like it could be hard But at the same time like I know for me sometimes I do like being around like a lot going on So you know it just depends on your personality, but I love this place Like it's just such a cute little coffee shop and like exactly what you think of when you think of like a quaint little coffee shop I'm just gonna say like if you're gonna go and study it'd be kind of hard to find a table yeah is. or like i would feel bad for like taking up that much space right for that long you right know, I feel like. and if you're trying to like talk to like it was fine for us it talking was great to, like it's great to go and talk yes it is it's definitely like a talking coffee shop mm -hmm. you know but like i have been there during like exam week and like it, it's sometimes more quiet yeah. than others so or like during like the middle of the day yeah. like yeah so overall i give heritage house a seven and a half out of ten yeah. period all right i'll see you with the next coffee shop Can I please get a medium pumpkin spice latte with oat milk, please? Is that hot ice or blended? Um, ice, please. All right, you can scoot on up to the window. Thank you so much. Hey guys, so I am trying Scooter's Coffee. The very first time, I think this is like not just a Tuscaloosa thing, like I think they have this in other places, but I got a pumpkin spice latte with oat milk and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. It smells good. This is literally like the best pumpkin spice latte I've ever had. That's so good. Wow, that's really good. I highly recommend. So, scooters, there's no going inside. It's just a drive-thru. So, like, there is no, like, I can't rate the ambiance of the inside. It's just like a drive-thru, so I'm just nixing that. The purpose of this video, you can't go inside, so there's really nothing to it. But, coffee, I'm gonna give like a 9.5 out of 10. Like, this is really, really good. I don't even remember what the price was, so... Okay, so it was $7. I mean, that is kind of expensive. This isn't like huge. Like, my, my venti Starbucks drink is like seven dollars and something cents but it's like a good bit bigger than this so I, I mean it is kind of expensive but like so is every coffee place so i am thoroughly enjoying it though 
So I give scooters overall. The coffee itself is definitely like a nine and a half out of ten. Like super, super good. But I love a coffee shop where you can go inside, and obviously you can't do that here. So I will say I'll give it like a seven and a half, eight out of ten. On to the next. Just love coffee. I've never been there before. Have you ever been there? No. Okay, it was so, good. so I got the blueberry dream. So it was white chocolate, blueberry, and vanilla or something. What'd you get? I got the iced flower child latte. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't really remember what was in it. I know white chocolate. It was like lavender, was lavender, white chocolate. There and was a raspberry third. or something yeah. like that. I don't know. But I got blueberry and Loki, it's really good. Like give, I, you can tell like it's really good coffee. Like I probably should have gotten like salted caramel because like that's what like I like. But I wanted to try something different. So I would give this coffee like a seven out of ten. But like I can tell that the coffee's really good. And also the atmosphere in there is just such a cute coffee shop. So I definitely give the atmosphere a nine out of ten. But you, yeah. um, mine was I would also say like a seven out of ten. I love their coffee though, and yeah. I really think like Bree said, like I really like caramels. But hers, I get, took a sip of it, I would rate hers a 9 out of 10. Because I love, it tastes like a blueberry. blueberry donut. It does. It tastes like a blueberry muffin, blueberry donut. Mm -hmm. Blueberry's just not my favorite. But like, it's I, one of my faves. I wanted so to I try like, it. Yes. I don't know why. I was just in the mood to try it. So, mm -hmm. it's really good. I really it like is. it. So, and I, also I'm wearing blue. <gasps> I didn't it realize that. Oh, so, that's, so, I overall give this place a 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, it'd be so cute to study in there too. Yes, and like a fall drink. I wanted to know if they had a fall drink, but I couldn't tell, so yeah. I didn't get a fall drink. But anyways, all right, we'll, we'll see y'all next. Time. We'll see y'all the next place. Bye. guys so this morning I went to strange brew as you saw I didn't really like talk about it while I was there because it's kind of like a small coffee shop and I feel like really weird like talking about a coffee shop in the coffee shop I wanted to give you guys my little review so I got the rainy day latte which I've never gotten before normally I get sea turtle latte which is really really good it's like salted caramel but this was English toffee and caramel and it was so so good every time I've been to strange brew I absolutely love it I think it's like the perfect coffee and they have so many flavors also i've never gotten food at strange brew but they do have a lot of different like snacks and foods and things and they also have gluten-free options which i think is so like important because i have a best friend morgan who has celiac disease and like when you go to a coffee shop like it sucks if you literally can't eat anything so I really like that they have some gluten-free options. They have a lot of different coffee flavors. And also something really cute that they have is, like, there's this wall. And you can, like, donate to the wall. Like, you can basically, like, buy someone a coffee and pass it on. So, like, there's things on the wall. Like, if your, like, parent went to LSU, get a free coffee. Or, like, if you failed your bio test, like, get a coffee. If you're taking um, organic chem with this teacher, get a coffee. And then if you're, like, having a great day, you can be like, oh, I'm gonna buy a coffee for someone that needs a hug and then like put it on the wall I just think it's like really cute and a good cute way to like spread positivity overall I just am obsessed with strange brew. It's kind of new um, and To Tuscaloosa it wasn't here last year and it's just the perfect walking distance from the house It's like a 10 minute walk and I absolutely love it I would say the coffee itself is a 9 out of 10 and the inside is also a 9 out of 10 I think it's adorable there's always really good music playing the vibes are really good it is kind of small but a lot of coffee shops are but anyways I would say overall I 100% give strange brew a 9 out of 10 I absolutely love it and highly highly recommend
guys so I just went to Monarch Espresso Bar it's more in like downtown Tuscaloosa um, and it was my very first time I've never been there before I want to give you guys my little review so I got an iced caramel or an iced latte with caramel but what I will say is like I like when there's like a menu on the wall and there wasn't like you had to like go up to the counter and like I have social anxiety so like I looked at the menu like on my phone while I was just sitting in there because I like got really anxious they don't have like different coffees like they just have like syrups you can add so they have like car they have like five or six different like syrups you can add but they they just have like a latte or a cappuccino like there's no like specialty flavors if you know what i'm saying i was like eh, that's kind of boring the coffee itself so like i took a sip and at first i was like wow this is really good and then after the first sip i was like ew what is this honestly not a huge fan it tastes like cow milk which like i don't drink normal milk i got it with oat milk so it shouldn't even have like cow milk in it but it tastes like i'm drinking like white milk out of a cup so not gonna lie and like the syrup itself was just kind of like off-putting and strong so i really didn't like the coffee i would say maybe a two out of ten maybe a three out of ten um i mean i would go back and like try something else but like i just feel like it's kind of hard to like mess up an iced latte with caramel you know and i really didn't even taste caramel so it wasn't my favorite i will say the vibes in there are really really cool like it's very coffee shop vibes which i really like it's very different from the other places i've been only thing i will say is that they do play the music really really loud so like i was trying to like do homework and study and like it was kind of hard to focus because of like how loud the music was i'll say i did really like the vibes and the ambiance in there so i would give that like a 7 out of 10 overall i'm gonna give monarch a 5 out of 10 because i do really like the vibes i would go back i would probably try like something like food wise i didn't try any of the food but it looked good but the coffee i just wasn't a fan this video is all about finding the best coffee shop so i'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 not not my fave um but i'm glad i tried it so yep hi guys hello this is my bestie morgan and we are going to try Turbo. It's the last place I need to try. And Morgan has been always saying that she wanted to try Turbo. Yeah. You never been? I've never had it. But I've never had, had it, it, but I've heard good things. And it looked really cute. The other day I drove by because I wanted to know where it is. This is like kind of in downtown Tuscaloosa, yeah, I guess you would say. Of. It's actually really close to Monarch because the other day when I came to Monarch, I thought about just coming here afterwards. review time so basically we got the cocoa puff latte you like sugar-free chocolate oat milk and like espresso I guess yeah. a little bit too much emphasis on the sugar-free chocolate <laughs> that's what it is there's no flavor it just tastes like an iced coffee like it's very very strong like you can definitely it's very coffee yeah like it ain't no Dunkin Donuts for sure <laughs> I feel like if you just got a regular cold brew from yeah. Duncan, it would be sweeter than <laughs> like no add-in. I mean, it was still pretty it's, good. It's good. Like I'm gonna drink it. I'm, I am drinking. It's good. It's way better than Monarch. But let me tell you this: the vibes inside there, Super literally cute. adorable. I love it in there. I would definitely study in there. I would and definitely I, go in there. I also want to try their um, acai bowls too because yeah. I'm a big acai bowl gal. I have like food, like actual food, like meals. We need an honest coffee roasters here. I've never been there. If you come to Huntsville, I'm taking you to honest. We should do a little hunt. <gasps> we should do a Huntsville vlog. I want, yes, I want y'all to come to Huntsville. Take out to the Spicy Nuggets litter. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I give the coffee a 6 out of 10. I give the vibes inside the coffee shop an 8 out of 10. Overall, I'd give it mm, 7. 7 out of 10. Fair. Slide. More than once, because sometimes yeah. also, like, I think that also should go into like a judgment on how consistent they are with their coffee. Strange, yes, how like strange brew. Strange is consistent. And, oh, one year and a week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 372 days. 
That's actually mortifying. It's, okay, I'll do like my final review when I get back. Shoot, which one's mine? Guys, so I wanted to do my little overall final rankings of the coffee shops that I tried and just kind of tell you guys my final thoughts. So I'm gonna read you guys like my final rankings, the six coffee shops that I tried. So in last place, we have Monarch. I did not really like Monarch. The coffee, I just didn't like it. I would absolutely give it another shot, but like I just felt kind of anxious in there and I didn't like the coffee and the music was really loud, so it just wasn't my favorite, but I definitely go back and give it another shot. In fifth place, we have Scooter's Coffee. I really liked their coffee. Um, I got a fall drink and it was really good, but one thing is that there is no inside, it's only a drive through and I just love a coffee shop that you can go into, so there just really wasn't much to go off of. Coffee did make me start to feel really sick after like 20 minutes, I was like, ooh, like I can't drink any more of this. Um, it was really good, but I think it probably just had like a lot of sugar and caffeine in it. In fourth place, we have Turbo, that's the place I went to today. I really liked it, the coffee was good, not great. Um, it was just a little strong, um, but I did love the environment. It's really cute in there, and the vibes were good, so nothing bad to say about it. In third place, we have Just Love. I really like Just Love. I wasn't obsessed with the coffee that I got. I got, like, a blueberry coffee, so it wasn't my favorite because I'm not a big blueberry girl. But it was really good, and the vibes inside were really cute, and I really enjoyed it. I would totally go back, so love Just Love. And I have a lot of friends that also really like it, so... That's really cool. In second place, we have Heritage House. I love Heritage House. It's been a staple. Like, I love going there. The vibes are just, like, immaculate. Like, amazing coffee shop vibes. So good. It is a little bit loud in there sometimes. And also, like, the drinks, they didn't give me enough ice. But that's okay. That's fixable. I just asked for more ice. And the coffee itself is really, really good. So many different types of coffee you can get. Lots of snacks. Like, really, really good. And I just love Heritage House. And in first place, my favorite coffee shop in all of Tuscaloosa is Strange Brew. I love Strange Brew. I think it is literally adorable inside. It's a little small, but it's so good. Every single coffee I've ever gotten there is incredible. Like, it is perfect. It never makes me feel sick or even jittery. Like, it's just good coffee. They have gluten-free snacks. They have I also really like the thing that they do where you can like buy someone else a coffee and pass it forward I think that's really really cute the vibes inside are just really really good They just have so many unique flavor pairings and I just feel like strange brew never misses and all my friends Really love strange brew and it's like the perfect walk from my sorority house So I just love going there anyways those are my pairings. I hope you liked this video. I thought it'd be really fun to do. And if you have any video ideas that you want to see of me in college, let me know. But I hope you're having an amazing week. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.